my name's Deb Harris and I play the flute. And I actually got my start in music on piano when I was very young. And I was kind of thinking about how I got started in music. When fifth grade came around, when I was about 10, um, I decided to take the flute. And I'm really glad I picked the flute because it's a nice, easy instrument to carry and it's a very fun instrument to play. And there are other instruments in the flute family, which is a woodwind instrument. And some of you may have seen the piccolo, that's very short. And there's also some longer flutes like the alto flute and the bass flute. And probably some of you may have seen some Disney films that use these low instruments. If you think of like Jungle Book and the snake that's crawling around. If you go to a movie sometimes, just shut your eyes for a while and listen to the music. And you'll be able to hear a lot of different instruments, but a lot of times you'll hear those low flutes. And I'll play a little bit of what the flute range is. I, we can play very low. Or we can also play in the high register. And because the fingers on the flute are so close together, we can play very fast notes. Or we can play very beautifully and slow. And I really love playing the flute. I play in the Fargo-Moorhead Symphony, and I'm finishing my 21st season with the symphony this year. And I've played in symphonies since I was 18, so it's been really fun to be a part of a bigger group. And I also do a lot of solo concerts, and I play some chamber music with friends, and I think that's one really great part of music, is to be able to get together with friends and have fun and play great music together. And the other fun thing about music is that we get to play music from many different styles and periods. If you think about, I can play music that was written for the flute back in the 1600s, all the way up to today, and composers to this very minute are always creating new music. So we have so much music in our repertoire to be able to perform. And then if you also think about the different types of music too, I play in symphony, um, I also play, sometimes I do some jazz, um, that's a, a kind of a um, stretch for me a little bit, but it's been very fun. Um, you can play some ethnic music. Uh, sometimes there's music of uh, Japan or Africa. So if you think about it, there's music in every culture and many time periods. So there's just a wealth of music to be able to perform and play. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the flute. It's called a woodwind instrument, and some people ask me, well, why is it called a woodwind instrument when it's metal? Well, actually, the flute first started out um, at the very beginnings, it was wood. And it was just one piece of wood with just one key on the end, and the rest of the keys were actually fingered with just holes. And then it developed uh, slowly over time, then it had four keys, then it had eight keys. And then around the 1840s is when the flute came to be where it is today with all the keys that we have. And all the keys just make it much easier for us to play fast and play in tune. So that's why it's called a woodwind instrument, because it started out as a woodwind instrument. And then other people ask me too, well, how do you make a sound on the flute? Because there's no reed, there's no mouthpiece. We just have a head joint, and I'll take that out and show you. So the head joint comes off, and we have a lip plate with a little opening here. And the way we produce our sound on the flute is that we blow against this back edge, and the air splits. So if I put it up to my lips, and it's somewhat sort of like a pop bottle, if you try this at home, and if I just blow and split the air, this is what it sounds like. And then you, you get really good at that first and you can figure out where you need to put it. You can do a lot of different things. You can have lots of fun with the head joint. Then when you get really good with the head joint, then you can put it onto the body. And I also wanted to show you too that there is one other part of the flute, the foot joint, so it comes apart in three pieces. And then when you line it up just right, then you get a sound on the whole thing. And also many famous composers have written for flutes. So some of you may know the composers Bach or uh, Mozart and some contemporary composers like Prokofiev wrote a really famous piece called Peter and the Wolf. And for some reason, the flute always gets to play the bird. So the flute's the bird and Peter and the wolf. And some of you may also have seen the other piece called Carnival of the Animals. And the flute gets to play the bird in that too, because we can sound really trilly and frilly like a bird.
it's been really fun for me. Some days I wake up and I think, wow, I'm really lucky I get to play the flute today. So I hope you all would have that experience sometime too. This program is funded by the North Dakota Council on the Arts, the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund, with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008, and by the members of Prairie Public. Thank you.